Hello everybody, so before the video starts, I'd just like to point out that a lot of other people have made videos on the screen mode before. I tried making mine different than theirs, but I will be linking some of their videos down in the description. Also, a lot of people play screen mode on Rec Room, so if there's anything I left out, please leave a comment. Anyways, let's begin. At least I can talk now. After playing VR a lot, I decided to play screen mode again. As soon as I logged into my account, I noticed that there were a lot of changes right off the bat. First of all, there was a reflection or something of yourself in the top right so I could see my epic swag drip. 24-7. A lot of controls were on the screen, so I decided to keep these on so I could figure out what to do. Also, you can become a human Beyblade, and I love it. I was playing on PS4, and I felt like using a keyboard and mouse, but sadly, the PS4 doesn't have keyboard and mouse support for this game like it does in Minecraft, for example. If any Rec Room devs are watching this, though, I feel like that would be a cool addition, but obviously not important. Because I'm on PS4, when going through the menus, you get a cursor that is really painful to use at first, but on PC, you can just click the different options. When scrolling through the clothing items, sometimes I'll accidentally select a non-epic swag, not drip item, and look like I'm from a Disney movie. Also, I noticed there's a glitch that once you customize your character and exit the menu, it won't let you do it again. This may be fixed by the time you watch this video. Also, you have less freedom and you can only move your hands like this. So if you wanted to hug your epic e-girl, gamer girl, rec room girlfriend, you'll have to do something like this. The loading screens are much cooler on screen mode. The hand gestures are difficult at first, but once you know what you're doing, you can do them easily. So then you can thumbs down anyone that you see. Also, there are more facial expressions, or at least I found more on screen mode. And you can literally have a panic attack or whatever if that's your thing. Third person is possible, but you can't do everything well in this menu because it's just for dancing, but you can do this. I also tried some paintball. Playing this on screen mode was like playing any other FPS on PlayStation, except it's Rec Room Paintball. At first it was difficult to do this because of less freedom, but I got the hang of it. Also when you die, you do this weird pose. You can also do this when dying at a quest, but your hand is up so you can be revived, so doing it in paintball doesn't really make much sense. When I did a quest, it was a lot harder, and using the weapons was obviously not the same, but like the other games, you get used to it and it, it's fine. Screen mode isn't terrible for all the Rec Room originals, but obviously VR is better. It's really fun even though it's on screen mode, but I feel like it's much more epic if you're in VR. I even tried 3D charades, and on screen mode, you, the maker pen is really not epic, but like everything, you get used to it. You can draw everything in a very weird way can, compared to VR. I don't know, it's just weird. When, but I bet when, if you play it a lot, you'll probably get used to it. In the end, playing Rec Room on screen mode was epic. I think that screen mode isn't all that bad, but after playing screen mode for a while, it felt natural. If you were out there and you want to play Rec Room but you don't have a VR headset, screen mode is perfect for you. VR is 10 times better than screen mode, but if you start to get motion sickness or the headset is getting heavy when then playing screen mode is the best. Also, if you want to play on the go, you can download Rec Room on your mobile phone, but I don't want to even try that to be honest. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to join my Discord server in the description because I'll be recording with subscribers soon and you don't want to miss out. Anyways, thanks for watching.